going to share that if you can dish it, you should be able to take it. And I would just say a prime example of that is at work. Sometimes people want to be smart and be nasty about something. And so I'll share a prime example. There's a checklist that I need to have done. Now I've been doing everything on this checklist, so my manager is well aware of this. It says that you know you have to, it's an observation list. So I emailed them and said, hey, could you please check this off? Because you know that I've been doing this work all week and I like to you know move on. And they're like, well, I need to physically see you do it. Well, it doesn't physically say that you have to physically observe the person. So I said, okay. The definition of observe means to see or perceive or become conscious of or become aware of. So therefore, you already know that I'm able to do something. It's like very redundant. And it's the fact that they, you know, try to be nasty about it. I'm like, all right, you want to play semantics? We'll get to the root of the actual word. So I don't think that they like that, but I really don't care. I mean, I feel like I was scheduled to close last night. I did. Didn't get off till 10, 15. Had to come right back in the morning at 6.30. That means I hardly got any sleep, you know? It's just crazy. If you know somebody works and works hard and can already do the task, what do you physically need to see? Because I've already been doing it and you're well aware of this. So when I hit them with the definition of, you know, to observe and to perceive and have a good weekend, you know, I was like, hey, have a good weekend. Like, they're like, oh, we should have a talk. Yeah, maybe we should. Because again, if you can dish it, you can take it. All she had to do was just say, yes, I know that you've been doing this, but I want to physically see you do what I already know that you're capable of doing. When I tell you I've had it with my uh, job, I just get tired of being stuck with working with people who may have not trained because it just doesn't make sense. And every night is a different issue, you know, and I feel like if you are the store manager, it falls on you at the end of the day as to why the store is how it is or why people are saying they're not getting trained. And even the uh, time frame that they give us to close the store is unrealistic. If we don't physically close the store until 10 o'clock, how are you expecting people to get out of there at 10.15? You have to look at the flow of traffic, you have to look at sales, and also at least most jobs give you at least 30 minutes, really an hour, but at least 30 minutes to complete your closing task. So, you know, I'm just like, you want to have a conversation, you will have a conversation. Please don't schedule me to open, rather I close, because I need at least six, seven hours of sleep, like anybody would, you know, to perform their very best, you know, so that's just, a, just an example of me being irritated, you know, I work way too hard, I never call out, I'm never late, I go above and beyond, so it's like, don't act like that, really, you know, like trying to flex. Because <laughs> I surely flex my behind out that door. So I'm hoping things get better. Because I wrote, you know, kind of a long winded email explaining all the reasons why I'm not satisfied. I've only been there a few weeks and there's just so many performance issues that I've had to write up about other staff that have been there way longer than me. And they all say the same thing they have not been trained, that the expectations are realistic. So we'll see how it goes.